Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about common house spider. Incredible common house spider facts. Some of these spiders eat four times each day if it's not capturing enough insects. This spider will move to another location though they are solitary. These spiders sometimes build webs near each other their dark colors help to camouflage them in a home how to identify a common house spider the common house spider is found in colors ranging from light tan to black. Females are 0.19 to 0.24 inches in length. Males are smaller in size measuring 0.15 to 0.19 inches long. These spiders weigh less than 1 ounce. These spiders have 8 spindly legs and 8 eyes. Surprisingly, even with so many eyes, they can't see more than 3 or 4 inches in front of them. One of the most interesting things about the common house spider is its body is similar in shape to the black widow spider. They both have bulb-shaped abdomen. But, despite a similar shape, the venom of a black widow spider is far more dangerous. The giant house spider is the largest type of house spider. The body of a female giant house spider can grow to almost three quarters of an inch. Furthermore, they have a leg span of 1.8 inches. Their dark colors help common house spiders disappear into the corner of an attic, garage, basement, or spare room in a home. In addition, their coloration can keep them hidden from cats, birds, and dogs that could consume them in one gulp. Though their venom kills small insects, it's not powerful enough to harm a larger animal. Common house spiders are mostly solitary with one exception. Scientists have observed males and females occupying the same web while they go through the mating process. Where to find the common house spider? Common house spiders populate every area in the world except for Antarctica. True to their name they live in corners of homes, attics, garages, and garden sheds. When looking for a place to build a web, these spiders choose an area where the air is flowing. A corner of a window where air is leaking in from outside is a common place to find this spider. A corner in a drafty room or near a pipe that is coming in through an exterior house wall of are both favorable places to find this spider's web. The flow of air increases the chances that a fly, mosquito, flea, or other insects will move through the area. How to get rid of common house spiders One common house spider can get rid of a lot of insects in a home. Getting rid of these spiders can mean an increase in pesky flies, mosquitoes, and ants in a home. However, some homeowners object to the webs and the debris beneath the webs left behind by these spiders. There are ways to get rid of common house spiders or discourage them from making webs in your home. One way to discourage these spiders from entering your home is to make it less appealing. Check the insulation around your windows and doors. When you vacuum your carpet, be sure to clean the baseboards too. Use your vacuum cleaner's extension wand to clean all the corners of the room. A natural repellent is another option. Spray it in various corners to discourage common house spiders from constructing their webs and laying eggs. How do you identify a common house spider? The colors of common house spiders range from tan to black. Males have a combination of orange and brown on their legs. The size of this spider's body is less than one quarter of an inch long. If you see a large common house spider, it's probably a female because they are bigger than males. A female's eggs are contained in a sack that looks like it's made of very thin, brown paper. This is a common sight in this spider's web. One of the most notable features of this spider is its messy web. Other types of spiders spend hours building intricate webs complete with spirals and radials. But, a common house spider builds a web of uneven silken threads attached to a wall and whatever objects are around it. But, despite being a little messy, it serves its purpose.